Okay, today for our math strategies video, we're going to be talking about comparing numbers. We're going to be using place value blocks to help us compare two digit numbers. Um, when we decide which one is greater, which one is bigger, when we decide which one is less than or smaller, we're going to be using comparison symbols. Okay, so this symbol right here is greater than, less than, and this one you're probably familiar with, which is equals to, okay? So these might be confusing as to when we use them. So just remember, think about these signs as a hungry alligator's mouth that is always open to eat the greater number, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at some numbers here. So our first numbers that we're going to compare is 32 and 20. Okay, so if we're kind of confused by these numbers as to which one is greater or which one is bigger, we're going to use some place value blocks. So I'm going to make 32 with place value blocks. I see there is a 3 in the tens place, so I have 3 tens. And I see there is a 2 in the ones place, so I have 2 ones. Okay, look at this number. I see there is 2 in the tens place, which means I'm going to have 2 tens. And then there is six ones, okay? So, as I look at these two numbers with place value blocks, the first place value um, that I'm going to focus on is the tens because it's the largest place value in these numbers. So if I'm looking at 32, I have three tens. If I'm looking at 26, I have two tens. So I know that 32 is bigger because three tens is greater or larger than two tens, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and use my symbol here. And this is a greater than symbol. And notice how it kind of looks like an alligator's mouth and it looks like it's eating the biggest piece, okay? Now, do note why I didn't really look at the ones place because once I had figured out that this had more tens, there was no need to really look at the ones place. Even though I have two ones here and six ones, the three tens was still greater than the two tens, okay? All right, so let's try with another set of numbers. So this time we're gonna look at 43 and 45, okay? Again, I'm going to create these numbers with my place value blocks, okay? Got three ones. Okay. So when I look at this one, I notice that they each have four tens. So I can't use the tens place to help me compare these numbers. Now I have to look at the ones place. Okay. So I see three ones over here and five ones over here. And I know that five is greater than three. So I know I'm going to use this symbol to compare because 43 is less than 45. And notice how um, my symbol kind of looks like an alligator's mouth and it's eating the biggest piece. Okay, let's try another example here. All right, this time I'm going to look at the number 28 and then this number 28. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to create these with my place value blocks, 28, okay, so I've created with my place value blocks, and I see that they both have two tens, okay, so now I need to focus on the ones, and I counted out eight blocks here and eight blocks here, so that tells me that these two numbers are equal. So when two numbers are equal, we're going to put the equal sign in between, okay? So remember, when comparing numbers, start with the largest place value, okay? Then, if the tens are the same, move to the ones place to compare. 